Hi everybody, it's Patty, and I'm back today to do my first ever sewing tutorial. And it's not really sewing, although a needle and thread could be involved, uh, unless you know how to be creative. But I showed you this little uh, t-shirt scarf uh, that I was wearing, uh, I think yesterday or the day before on my video, and asked if you wanted to see a tutorial on it, and I'm pretty sure almost every single person who commented said yes you wanted to see the tutorial so that's what this is uh, I need to make a couple of disclaimers number one I've not done one of these tutorials before where I show you how to actually do something like this so just please forgive me um, I'm a beginner also I'm expecting a repairman to, uh, to come in today so I'm hoping that I can get this done before he gets here. So one thing I wanted to show you too is uh, I, I promised you that it was would be real quick uh, so I have a clock so that we can time it but I want to show you the, what you're actually going to need uh, to do this. So uh, you will need something to cut with and this is a, just an old pair of scissors you you know it's you don't have to be super careful when you're cutting so just as long as they'll cut that's all you need uh, if you have one of these cutting wheels uh, you can use this uh, but if you have one of these I know that you have the self healing mat and you want to make sure and use the self healing mat if you have one of these otherwise you're going to ruin the surface that you're working on since I know most of you or a lot of you won't have this I'm not going to use this I'm going to use scissors I actually use scissors on this one you may need whoops you may need a needle and thread uh, you may need a tape measure you may not uh, you probably will need a couple of straight pins so I'm going to keep the straight pins out and the scissors and the clock. Oh, and of course you'll need some t-shirts. Now, I, uh, we, my husband and I not long ago went through and gave away most of our old t-shirts. So I went to Goodwill and I bought three, uh, I think these are larges or extra larges. I got the men's and um, I think I paid, well, I know I paid six dollars and a quarter for the three of them. So why don't we do the yellow one? So the uh, first of all, let me show you. Let's look at the clock. It says it's 11:51 or 12:50. I'm let, let's say this. Look at this again. It's 11:51. 11:51. So get rid of that. The first thing we're going to do is we need to get the t-shirts uh, laid out flat, and you want to make sure. We're going to be cutting from the bottom of the t-shirt, so make sure that the bottom is, uh, edges are together. They're, uh, they match, in other words, as close as you can, and then get it as smooth as you can. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to cut the hem off down at the bottom, and I just cut right, and boy are these scissors dull. These are our kitchen scissors, and we use these for opening plastic bags and that type of thing, and I'm going to tell you, this is just chewing the fabric, so... I'm going to stop the camera and get a different pair of scissors. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that didn't take too long. You can see I have a pretty jagged edge right here, but that's okay. Uh, this does not call for perfection. So I've cut the hem off of the shirt. Now, I make mine, uh, and this is where you might want to, if you not, don't know what an inch is, you might want to look at your tape measure, but you, you don't have to be perfect here. So I do about an inch, 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut strips. All the way across. And again, these scissors are not wonderful either. But don't worry about the jagged edges. You just want to make sure that you don't cut all the way, this cutting across this way. So, so this is what we have, just a loop of fabric. So I'm going to turn the camera off, and it is 11.54, if you can see that. And I'm going to cut the rest of this shirt all the way up to underneath the armpits, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've done them all. I'm up to just underneath uh, the um, arm. So that's as far as I'm going to cut there for these strips. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the arm. This happens to be a long sleeve shirt, but you can do it with a short sleeve t-shirt too. I need a, a smaller strip, so I'm just going to cut it off of the sleeve about the same width and then this has the sleeve had a seam so I'm going to cut the seam out of it so this smaller piece we'll use later and we're finished with that now comes the fun part the magic you take your strips and open them and then you just pull as hard as you can pull and see what happened it just folded or curled in on itself. This is f really fun to do with another person. One person hold one end and the other person hold the other end. And so this is what we have. So we're going to do every one of these. You know, you could put this around the bedpost and pull them all at one time probably but we're going to do every one of those and I don't know how many I have here I, I'm not sure if the number really matters can you imagine a your daughter or your son, a, a young boy, would probably have fun with this, helping you make it. Okay. This probably takes almost as long as actually cutting the strips. I have a squirrel outside so you're gonna hear Bagel here. She's I'm working at the dining room table. So what are y'all doing today? Are you have you done been constructive at all? Have you done anything? Are you cleaning or cooking something good for dinner maybe? I had to run into town actually to pick up these shirts and picked up colors that I wanted to add to my collection of these scarves. Mm -hmm. As I said, I'm pretty sure uh, this was done first by Martha Stewart. I don't know where she got the idea. She has mm -hmm. such a crew who work, you know, working for her in crafts that probably one of them mm -hmm. came up with this. Okay, so that's all of them. So then just take them and you want to gather them all together in your hand sort of get them out straight mm -hmm. 
I'll tell you how many I have. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I have fifteen here. So that's sort of what you have. Now we have to hold them together some way, otherwise you're going to have a big mess. And that's what this little strip is for. So, bagel. She's trying her best to get to that squirrel. So take your small strip, and you don't have to use this. You could use a ribbon. You could use anything, twine, uh, anything to wrap around. And you don't want to curl this, but you do want to pull it snug. If you pull it too tight, it will, um, it will curl, and we really don't want this to curl. So mainly we're just making... Uh, connecting everything. And then what I did is I folded under the very end and laid it down and pinned it. Whoops. And then I'm not going to sew this together because you don't have to watch me sew, but just take your needle and thread and just stitch this any way you know how to stitch it. And that will hold this together. Now, if my pink one, because it was a men's polo shirt, men's polo shirts have seams on both going down the side where t-shirts don't. So I had to do, I did this actually around the seams on each side. So I have two of these. And you certainly could do that. Uh, or you could just do the one you know, attach them in the one place. That's up to you. So that's it. Let's look at the clock. It's 12.08. Can you, maybe you can see it. Uh, I think we started at 11.51. And I will tell you, of course, we know I had to go get a sharp pair of scissors. And then also, when I turned the camera off, uh, I did not have it plugged in and my battery died, so I had to go get my battery, uh, the cord to plug into my camera uh, so that I could film. So that took probably a minute or so for me to do that. So it was real close to 10 minutes, and you're just going to have a ball with it. What I want you to do is let me know, leave me comments, and let me know that you've made one or two or however many, and what you think about it. And, uh, you know, tell me how easy you thought it was because truly it is so simple and it's so cute. You could even put a really cute decorative pen on this. You could just, I mean, just use your imagination as to how you can play with this and do it. So good luck making yours. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.